they say that this book is from God. The author who wrote it on the earth, they are unknown. Most of the chapters who wrote it, unknown. Who wrote it, unknown. First Kings, Second Kings, unknown. And they say this is the word of Almighty God. Now, when when we come to the second part, first part it is of Old Testament. When we come to the second part of the Bible, the New Testament of the Bible, it contains four Gospels. In the very first, it contains four Gospels: the Gospel of, according to Matthew, Gospel according to Mark, Luke, and John. These are the four Gospels, and some of the books of the Paul are in it. For example, Revelations, Book of Romans are in the Bible, written by Paul. And further, this is a red letter Bible. You see, red letters. You can see red letter as well as the black, printed in red and black. The Christian scholars, they are telling us that whatever is printed in red letter is what Jesus spoke. What Jesus spoke from his mouth is printed in red and what is printed in black has got not, nothing to do with Jesus what is printed in black color Jesus never touched those words what is written in red is of Jesus and you know 21 out of 27 books of this Bible are in black color it has not got even a dot dash or a doodle nothing 21 books and in the living Bible the revised standard version of the Bible 23 are in black color in the revised standard version 21 are in black in the revised standard version 23 books are in black color it has not even got the words of Jesus in red color and when you read about the gospels the very first gospel what is it the gospel of Matthew it is credited, credited to Matthew it is according to Matthew this is not God inspired him this is what he wrote according to himself for example a person is writing something about a story he is writing according to him, him. So, as such what Matthew, Mark, Luke and John he, they did what has happened the incidents they wrote according to them so let's see is the Matthew the, the gospel of Matthew is his if you read Matthew gospel of Matthew chapter number 9 verse number 9 it says as Jesus was walking along he saw a man called Matthew this is in the book of in the gospel of Matthew listen it carefully as Jesus was walking along he saw a man called Matthew sitting at a tax booth Matthew was a tax collector and he said unto him he said unto him follow me and he got up and followed him he said unto him Jesus said unto him, follow me. So the follow me, the words are written in red. So these are the words of Jesus. He said unto him, follow me. And he got and followed him. Did you understand anything? If Matthew has written this, it would be, as Jesus was walking along, he saw a man called Matthew sitting at the tax booth. And he said unto me, he said unto me, follow me and I got and followed him but this is written by the third person the third person is writing that this is what Matthew and Jesus did at a certain period the gospel of Matthew is not of Matthew let's see about Luke what Luke has to say about his gospel gospel of Luke chapter number one verse number one in the beginning he wrote what inspired him to write his gospel his giving since many have undertaken to set down an orderly account of the events that have been fulfilled among us just as they were handled on, on to us by those who from the beginning were eyewitnesses and servants of the word I decided to the people were writing Matthew, Mark, John they were writing something about Jesus I being a physician and most learned man of the time I too had great knowledge about Jesus so I decided to write something. I decided after investigation everything carefully from the very first. He investigated about Jesus. What has happened about Jesus. What incident took place. What Jews did to him. All he collected. And he said I too decided to write. He, he doesn't say I was inspired by God. Or Holy Spirit tickled me to write something. He said I too decided to write my gospel. 
I too decided after investigating everything carefully from the very first to write to you an orderly account. Most excellent Theophis. The only thing he says is, my books, I will be writing an orderly account of Jesus Christ may peace be upon him. Matthew, Mark, John, they are writing something. Everything here and there, mixed up everything. He says, I will give you an orderly account of what Jesus is. He does not say that he was inspired by God nor by the Holy Spirit. His inspiration is on the people that came before him. Further, you see, in doing that, we find that Matthew, he is copying. He is copying from other person. He is copying. What he is doing? In literature, in the language of literature, we call it as plagiarism. Plagiarism, meaning what was written by another person, you write under your, ho under your name, you write everything under your name and say this is mine. Somebody is writing something, you take everything from him, you copy his book and under your name you say this is mine. So Matthew, uh, Luke does the same thing. Chapter number 3 verse 7 to 9. John said to the crowds that came out of the baptized by him, your brood of vipers who warned you to flee from the wrath to come bear fruits worthy of repentance but not begin to say yourself everything this uh, the verses go along and you and when you read matthew matthew chapter number 3 verse number 7 to 10 it gives you the same thing if you read matthew chapter number 7 verse number 7 to 10 he gives the same thing john said to the crowds that came out of the baptized by him your brood and vipers everything same to same and in the Old Testament too, in the Old Testament, if you read two kings, second kings chapter number 19 and Isaiah chapter number 37. If you read these books, these two books are identical dot by dot, full stop by full stop, comma by comma, quotation by quotation, dash by dash. Everything is same. And these are two different authors. One might come and say, you see in the Quran, In the Quran too, there are many ayats which are repeated. So what is so astounding uh, uh, about this, about the Bible? You have got some ayah in the, uh, ayahs in the Quran which are in double the time. So we say, the Christian learned men, the highest eminent scholars, they, the scholars, they do not believe in the verbal revelation like the Quran. The Quran was the verbal revelation. God Almighty says, Hul, hu Allahu Ahad. So the Prophet has to reply, Hul, hu Allahu Ahad. He has to repeat, Hul, hu Allah. He, he cannot change the words in between. The Christians, they do not believe in this type of revelation. They believe that the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, He inspired people. He tickled people to write something. For example, if I ask you, I request you, those who were present last Sunday, if I ask you, to write something about what has gone last Sunday, if two persons are writing, for example, A and B, the settings, what A has given in his book, in his work, the B will differ from him. No two books of the person will be identical. He has got some, uh, some sense of writing and he has got other some, some other sense to write. In the same case, these authors were inspired the Holy Spirit came and asked them to write something about Jesus. So, so they wrote. The Holy, K, the Holy Spirit came to kings and he asked him to write something about Jesus. He wrote something. And Luke, he wrote something. John, he wrote something. But in that case, you cannot have identical reproduction. Identical. What Matthew has written, how can Luke know it? Unless he is copying. Unless he is copying, he is peeping into his book. It cannot be identical. You see, Copying is going on, plagiarism is going on, and there, are, and there, and there is millions of millions of pages we can quote from the Bible about what Bible is exactly. But this is all what in a short span of time I can give. So this is what Allah says in the glorious Quran. This is how Allah says the beautiful ayah in Surah Baqarah, Surah number two, ayah number seventy-nine. He says, yaktubun al kitaba Woe to those who write books with their hands, who write books with their hands and they say that this is from Allah. 
فويل للذين يكتبون الكتاب بايديهم ثم يقولون هذا من عند الله ليشتروا به ثمنا قليلا that they might gain a miserable a some profit from it and woe to those who write with their own hands فويل للذين يكتبون الكتاب بايديهم ثم يقولون هذا من عند الله ليشتروا به ثمنا قليلا وويل لهم مما كتبت ايديهم وويل لهم مما يكسبون woe to those for what they hand to write and woe to those for what they earn from it they are earning billions and billions of rupees billions and trillions of rupees and they revise the book this is what allah says go to those people they write something the authors are unknown who wrote it and they credited this book to god by this i would like to end my talk wa akhiru dawana an alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin ala kullu ma huwa kan qareeb wa lil ardi min kulli hayin nasib wa lin ولذهر شاد على أهل